They're about to take off, ready to oh, go and do some cool. racing. He says we're up against two world champions and a young charger. I don't think we have much of a chance. Oh, we are natural, talented drivers. We, we are fine. Yeah, one thing I don't know is how, how much karting you did before you came to cars. When I was a young kid, I did close to 300 racing starts. You don't get that anywhere else than go-karting. Without the go-karting, I believe you never could be a Grand Prix winner. I'm looking forward to go to Fernando's place. I can understand if you've done yeah. 300 car races. Yeah, that's more than you did Grand Prix. That was about 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jensen, Stoffel, here we are. We're at uh, Fernando's kart track, taking ourselves back to where it all began. And uh, look, I brought an old buddy as well, Mika, the old McLaren boys against the new McLaren boys. Let's Mika, go. light the sunglasses. Thank you so much. I raced 20 years ago in karts. I've driven twice since then, uh -huh. only twice. Um, so this is going to be an experience. So put yourself back 20 years ago. I won the, the European Championship, though, which back then was more important than the World Championship. I was second in the World Championship. Did you ever race in the Karting World Championship? A couple of times, a couple of times, but not, never really a good success. Actually, your career was a bit mediocre in general, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Mika, why are you getting undressed? Look, he's getting undressed when we're supposed to be... OK. Can we walk out, like, you know, once we go out? Like, gladiators. Do, like, gladiators or Top Gun? Gladiators don't race. We fight. Yeah. To the end. Tonight, we eat like kings. Tomorrow, we die with honour. I had to be Scottish to <laughs> <laughs> So, Fernando, we're here at not only your kart track, but a museum dedicated to your racing careers. You know, you're a bit of a big deal in these parts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, this is my hometown, so I'm very proud of uh, having now this circuit, the museum, and uh, the sport gave me so much in, in, in my career that uh, I think it's time to give something back to the, to the people. The, the race craft that you've developed and become famous for in Formula One, how, how much of that is based on your karting time? Well, I think a lot. Uh, let's, let's say that uh, you have to start at a very young age in uh, motorsport, and that, that's, the, the go-kart can give you only that possibility. I have also my, my school here. We have 120 kids from seven to nine years. Yeah, I think it's the only way to, to develop future talents. Nick and I did a couple of practice laps earlier. Stoffel's yeah. going out straight away and going straight over that I'm big curve. They said no. Yeah, that's not good, is they it? They said it's not good. Yeah. Penalty. Yeah. yeah, OK. Shall we just check underneath? God. Look at that! That was brand new before you drove it. Good luck. It's all coming back to you. <laughs> no. So you consider yourself a smooth driver, and certainly in a Formula 1 car you are. Yeah. But in a car, you can really see you... And then it's do... more fun, isn't it? Yeah. Our opposition looks no a bit way. quick. No way we can manage to beat those guys. I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Are you going to drive over the curb? I'm going to cut straight over the grass. <laughs> we are all set to go racing. Three generations of Formula One drivers set to go against one another. Hakkinen and Coulthard, Button and Alonso. And the new boy, Stoffel van Dorn. What can he do up against these race winners? Away we go, and Alonso straight away up front. But this is dynamic, fast karting at its best. This is where they all began their careers. Just how good are they now? We're about to find out. Looking over his shoulder, Jensen Button right in the mix here. But Stoffel van Dorn, of course, his karting career more recent than anybody else. Fernando Alonso going well, he ought to. Oh, and that's DC across the grass. Bouncing across the grass, he told us he would, and it's exactly what he's done. But is it enough for him? I'm not sure it is quite. Mika Hakkinen in control at the moment. The old master, the double world champion, looking good here. But it's getting pretty furious now. And Fernando Alonso is beginning to make a move. There he is. He knows his track better than anybody. Surely he's going to put in a move towards the end of the race. Coulthard hanging on in there. Stoffel van Dorn being squeezed out. And here they come then. Fernando Alonso has got the move on Mika Hakkinen. And he's gone past him. Fernando Alonso comes through to take victory. Yeah. Through the yeah. last chicane.
You were like a rocket off there. I follow him, I follow you, yeah. because you were completely different. You, you thought you'd won it. Mika was celebrating. Yeah. I tried Hola. to help you at the start. Yeah. Can you believe Jensen saying he didn't hit anyone? <laughs> it's something to do with the weight advantage. I weigh 78 kilos. How heavy are you? 95. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for this uh, experience. It reminds Mika and I why we're no longer racing drivers. Yeah. Fernando, not only do you have a kart track in the museum, apparently you have a nightclub here. So, the cervezas are on you. I don't have anything. <laughs>